Hi everyone, my name is Giovanni Miante and I am CEO from Exmobots. First of all, I would like to present Exmobots. Exmobots was founded in 2007 and today the company presents over 150 uh, employees. The main products of Exmobots are Arator, a portable drone for mapping, Nauru, a 25 kilograms VTOL drone for surveillance and tractor, a drone that maps for hours and spray train liters. Xmobots offers a complete solution for our clients, including multi-spectral cameras and analytic softwares dedicated to specific cultures like sugar cane, cotton, eucalyptus. Xmobots always have invested in development of products in accordance to ANAC and the SAIA regulations. In 2013, we got the first authorization for experiment of flight CAV for a drone from Brazil. After that, the first CAV for automatic drone, then the first CAV for flight above 100, 400 feet, and then the first CAV for BVLOS flights. In 18, we got the first pilot certification allowing flights above 400 feet in the same year we got the first authorization of project for Arator to fly commercially above 400 feet and uh, BVLOS. After we got uh, the first CAV for class two drone and this project is still classified. This year, we got the first uh, project authorization for 30 kilometers range BVLOS flights. Between 2015 and 18, we performed four test campa campaigns in order to capture pre preliminary requirements about drone integration in airspace. The test was performed in Pirassununga and San José dos Campos airports. In 19, Exmobots proposed to the SEA a new TM ar architecture to meet the Brazilian demands. Now, I would to like to talk about the Brazilian UTM. The architecture proposed was based on the ICAO recommendations and adapted to the Brazilian needs. BRUTM is the evolution of SERPAS, so BRUTM is composed by a backend that operates as an ANSP and integrating all ATM systems through APIs. The Brazilian state uh, server pro provider will be SERPAS next generation. Uh, that provides services of phase zero, authorizing automatically only VLOS flights. On the other hand, Xmobots developed a free service called XUTM that offers services of the phases zero, one, and two, authorizing automatically BVLOS flights. For UTM, it was defined 21 services, including registration, identification, flight planning, authorization, tracking, restriction, separation, and informations. And for the continuous evolution of BR UTM, we proposed increased step-by-step -step the complexity of each phase. This table shows a resume of the requirements of each phase in each phase. After six years of tests and experiments, Xmobs wrote a draft document of requirements for each service for each phase of BRUTM. The draft was sent to uh, the SEA for appreciation. The SEA teams executed several meetings about this and resulting in a draft of BRUTM regulations. As the DSEA was focused in APIs, Xmobus developed SARPA's new generation and donated the source code to the DSEA. Now I would like to talk about XUTM. XUTM meets our requirements of all services from phases 0, 1, and 2. The ATM service integrates with the DSEA API. The restriction service ensures that volume res reservations are not permitted if there are intersections with air, air spaces not allowed to the UTM. The register service offers 
to the user several registrations from operator, managed pilot, and managed pilot, drone, and man aircraft. Here we can see the planning and permission services. Where you want to fly, you can plot all airspace rest restrictions, such as airport uh, approach zones, NOTAN, restricted zones, and control zones, and other reserved volumes. The first step of volume reservation request is the definition of basic data, like setting the reservation data, and checking if there are other volumes reserved to this data. The next step is the, is the definition of complementary data, like VLOS and BVLOS operation type. After that, the next step is the definition of desired flight volume. Here, you can see the restriction of dangerous, restricted, and prohibited areas. Here you can see the restriction of NOTAN. Here you can see the restriction of airport, airport approach zones and heliport approach zones. In this case, the heliport was not selected to show, but the XUTM identifies the intersection and alerts the user. Control zones and internet signal coverage if the reservation is the center of two that requires out time connection. Finally, the three dimension uh, of other reserve volumes and your volumes. In this case, the use should change the data or change the volume if you want to fly. So, the operator decides to change the area, the volume. Finally, the last step is the definition of complementary data from pilots and observers. Before sending a BRTM for authorization, XUTM alerts the user about the main risks of the operation. And finally, the send of volume to full request. Here you can see the tracking and separation services. Once the volume is authorized, they appear on the map and clicking on them, you can start a flight. When the flight starts, XUTM local platform sends the location of your drone in real time to the cloud. The XUTM local platform receives from cloud the location of nearby vehicles, manned or amend. Alerts are issued when other drones are nearby. XUTM monitors the compliance and issue alerts if the drone is close to, to transpose the authorized volume and the system plots 3D manned and unmanned aircrafts. Finally, alerts are issued when other manned aircraft are nearby, as you can see now. The next test for BRTM are finalize the lab and flight experiments in 21. Deploy the UTM on national scale in the 22, then each year we deliver a more complex level of integration until in 2027, we will have a full integration between UTM and ATM. Thank you for your attention.